Good afternoon, everyone. This is Leon Bibb, and we begin with breaking news this noon hour. Cleveland police have named a suspect in the early morning rape of a jogger earlier this month. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is live with the breaking news details. All right, Leon, breaking news indeed. We do have breaking news. Here's the man uh, police are looking for. He is wanted. This is a manhunt. It is underway. Cleveland police now searching for James W. Daniel III. He is wanted for rape. He is 33 years old. He's about five foot nine, born in 1981. Police also gave us a color photo repeating this breaking news. The Cleveland police now have named a suspect. I am told through sources, through DNA results, they have a suspect in at least one of these stranger rapes that was caught on video. That's the one that happened September 2nd, early in the morning, a jogger right here, West 104 near Lake Avenue, about 525, 530 in the morning, was jogging. On that surveillance video, you see a man come up from behind, ta tackle her, and eventually a sex assault, a rape occurs. We then found out two days before that, not that far from here, over in Lakewood, on Warren between Madison and Franklin, another victim, another woman was raped. They believe by the same guy, perhaps. That one happened two days earlier, August 31st, 5 o'clock in the morning. She was coming home from work. Again, the suspect police are looking for... And this man has caused a lot of concern and worry for people on the west side, for, for, for joggers, for people just walking the streets. Police looking for James W. Daniel the third wanted in at least the rape here at West 104 in Lake Avenue. I just checked out his last known address. It's further south than West 104 near Madison. I GPS it. It says it's a, uh, a nine-minute drive, a 1.6-mile walk. So from where he was last living, it would only be a 1.6-mile walk to get here to West 104 and Lake. And, of course, the second victim would have lived right there near where he was living on Madison. So we're going to be talking with Cleveland police and bring you much more information on this breaking news. As police have named a suspect, they have a photo of the suspect. I also checked his criminal history, Leon, and everyone, at least six previous arrests. The most recent one of James W. Daniel III, was just uh, four years ago, 2010, wanted for and actually charged with, uh, back in that case, r robbery and kidnapping. Wanted for robbery and kidnapping in, in 2010. He was arrested and already back on the street. So I don't know if he pleaded out or served some time, but Leon, this, this has really terrified a lot of people here uh, in Cleveland, on Lakewood, and the, the Cleveland Police Department in Lakewood joining uh, a team effort, a, a task force of 23 officers around the clock. This has been an all-out manhunt, and Cleveland Police uh, getting a huge development in this case, uh, considered armed and dangerous in both rapes, Leon. He had a silver handgun. He beat up one of the victims with it. He pointed it at the other one. So many details. We're going to stay on top of this developing and breaking story, Leon. And that man lives within 1.6 miles away from where you are right now at West 104 and Lake Avenue in Cleveland. Right, Paul? That's, that's right. I, I did GPS it. That was his last known address. Whether he was still staying there or not, uh, police are obviously searching the area. But his last known address would make that a, a, a nine-minute drive. Maybe not a much longer walk, 1.6 miles uh, taking shortcuts. That would put him at, at this rape, alleged rape that, uh, well, caught on tape at West 104 in a lake. It would put him very close to the previous rape uh, on, Ma on Warren between Madison and Franklin since he lives at West 104 near uh, Madison. But again, it's uh, James W. Daniel III. We have a color photo of him. Sources say he was ID'd through DNA uh, testing, and uh, Cleveland police really just uh, speeding this case through, trying to get every lead, working every tip. Uh, a big task force, and again, a lot of people have been on edge. In fact, even tomorrow night, there's a, there's a race and a rally planned here by joggers at West 104 in the lake. Uh, they wanted to call attention and try and generate more tips. There's also, yesterday, uh, the prosecutor McGinty announced uh, in the afternoon a $10,000 reward because uh, they're worried about this guy. Stranger rapes are rare and they seem to escalate in violence. And this guy does have a long, violent criminal history. Again, arrested back in 2010 for robbery and kidnapping. He is about 5'9". And he was born in July of 1981. I believe that puts him at uh, 33 years old. So you got to believe it. It's an intense manhunt by both Lakewood Police and Cleveland Police right now. It's all hands on deck. Many thanks for your report, Paul. We appreciate it. We'll follow the story, of course.